Looks beautiful there. Yeah, yeah. I know, absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Although it doesn't look like that in Portland where most of us live. Like yeah. we've yeah. seen right. pictures from all around the state and regardless, it's just exciting to see snow. Yeah, I would much rather have that. Like I was yeah. saying that yesterday, we were out somewhere and it was raining on me. I was like, oh, please. I'm ready for the snow. <laughs> yeah. At this yeah. point. like Now that it's December. Yeah, what are we doing outside? That, like. <laughs> What other right. stuff are we really doing? But we, we don't get to choose, <laughs> so that's where we're at. We had a little snow flitting in here and there along the southern coast. We did all right into the mid coast. I'll show you some totals here in a second. We do have uh, remaining bands of snow setting right along this narrow trough here. Rangely, great. They already got a foot of snow there. It's getting more up towards Orono, too. So we'll see some snow showers continuing, even though the lows way out here. The trough is kind of snaking its way back into northern New England. So a very unusual situation to have a low so far away and be still getting snow from it. So here are some of your snowfall totals. Uh, Rangely, 12.2. I'm not sure it's a total, actually, because they'll probably get a little bit more. Jackman, 9. Augusta, 8. Bangor, 5 inches. The only one that surprised me at all here was Camden at 4.4 because that's a little bit more than I would have thought they got, but that's what it ended up with. And then the Jetport, 0.3, sad. And it happened mostly while we were sleeping. There wasn't much accumulation in the morning here. So the last of these snow showers will continue kicking around through the evening. It's worth noting even the coast could get an accumulating snow shower out of this. And in some spots in Portland down south to Kittery could be more snow than we got from the system itself over the last uh, 24 hours or so. And then these snow showers move offshore by tomorrow morning. Start with clouds, end up with a mixture of sun and clouds. Not going to be that warm though. Pretty breezy too out of the north, 15, 20 mile an hour gusts. Plus it's only in the 20s and 30s, so it's going to be pretty chilly. And it gets even colder, of course, overnight. And these overnights are going to be really biting here. Uh, tomorrow night and then Wednesday night. And then Thursday night, too, looks cold, where we're in the single digits in a lot of spots into the morning and teens right to the coastline. Even during the day, Wednesday, middle of the day, 20s to the coast, teens in a lot of spots. So it really is going to kind of turn the corner and be legitimately cold here through the middle part and the end of the week. And these high temperatures uh, only in the 20s Wednesday, about 30 or so on Thursday. And then we try to climb back out of this. Sunday is interesting. If we can hold off the rain, there'll be some rain Sunday night. We'll have a nice day Sunday, but it's hard to say whether or not the rain will start in the afternoon or the evening. That'll make a huge difference. But I think the headline here now that the storm is wrapping up is going to be about these low temperatures. Some of the coldest we've seen of the season so far and consistently three nights in a row. So single digits, some areas below zero, Rangeley, Berlin, for example, with the snowpack right along the coastline, we're still 12 to 15 degrees. So it's going to be kind of midwinter form as far as that goes. Good skiing. Need all the layers for it, though, I would say through the middle. Of the, and, you know, for me, and maybe I'm a bit of a fair weather skier, like today was good. I don't really want to go early season skiing if it's like 12 out because uh, that's like for January and February for me. But you do you and enjoy yourself. And uh, <laughs> our next system comes in Sunday night, Monday. That will likely be rain for everyone. Okay. So it, I guess if you do want to catch some good stuff, you might have to do it now. Brave it or go like Friday looks. Yeah. Yeah. But 12 yeah. degrees is like one run and then yes. in the lodge and grab a drink. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Yeah. Like I've got the gear for it. I'm just. Mm -hmm. I don't want to commit to it this early in the season if I if yeah. I don't have to. You don't want to get like the wind burn on your face like no. this early in. It, it was so <laughs> interesting during COVID when we had to wear masks. Yeah. And I found it annoying while skiing. Yeah. And I was like, I would normally do, be doing this anyways. Like, when, <laughs> I don't know why this is bothering me at all. <laughs>